Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the next topic is stability. So up to now, we discussed the system is stable, a system is unstable, and system is marginally stable. First, we we'll discuss the definition of the stability. Here, the definition is the ability of any system when it have bounded output. The output must be in bounded. and bounded input is applied to it when bounded input is applied to it so for example we have a one system the system has some transfer function every system is defined with some transfer function we will give some input and it will take we will get some output okay here this input must to be bounded bounded means it must to be defined for example for example we have a step input step input has the it's a bounded input okay and we have another input we have the ramp input ramp input look at here this is the unbounded input generally okay and we have like that we have different types of bounded means it must be defined and not infinite it must be defined it must be measurable we can name it as the measurable and the output is also be output is also be bounded output also be it is measurable and it must be not infinite so bounded means not infinite it must be defined and not infinite then the system have this transfer function we can name it as stable transfer function or the stable system a simple condition and if the system is stable then we can perform any operation on the system if the system is not stable it is not possible to perform any operation on the system okay that's why stability of the system is very very important See, every human is stable means he can do any work the human is not stable means it doesn't do any work same here system is also we can perform any operation when the system is stable otherwise it is not possible to perform any operation okay it is important characteristics of a control system for control system the stability is very very important characteristics so before discussing any system first you test the stability and we can another name it is ability of a system to reach the steady state so the system is stable means it will reach the the system must be reach the steady state if the system is unstable unstable system means it doesn't reach the steady state it will reach but it doesn't reach the steady state steady state means constant output final output otherwise it is not possible to reach the steady state okay this is the importance of the stability and the important characteristics of the system okay and here in control system generally we have the stability can be defined into two types the first is the the first stability is the open loop stability we can name it as the open loop stability and the second stability is the closed loop stability that means to understand to analysis the stability analysis to understand to understand the operation of the system stableness we should we should go for the two things one is we can test for the open loop stability we can test for the closed loop stability for the analysis here open loop stability means the name itself it's look like we are testing gsn g of s and h of s here you should take you should take the transfer function is this value sometimes h of s equal to 1 so this is the transfer function and we are testing we are performing the stability analysis on this open loop that's why it is a open loop stability so in order to perform the open loop stability analyze the open loop stability we have different types of procedure 
the first is border plant procedure by using the border plant we will analyze the open loop stability and second is root locus so root locus also we can test the stability third is Nyquist plot third is the Nyquist plot so these three are the useful methods to test this open loop stability and closed loop stability closed loop stability means we are we, we should take closed loop that means 1 into g of s plus h of s equal to 0 that means we should use the characteristic equation okay we should use the characteristic equation that's why it is called closed loop stability and we are using closed loop transfer function so we are here we are using only open loop transfer function okay so in order to test this we have only one method that method is rh criterion rh criteria rh means ruth harvids criteria it is a scientist name this scientist is invented this method ruth harvids criteria so the scientist only finding the how to solve the how to find out the closed loop stability okay so next we will discuss about first closed loop stability and next we will go for the open loop stability okay so in this the first is the rh criteria okay so name itself ruth harvich criteria this first point to find the closed loop stability so we have in this we are using the closed loop stability means we are using the characteristic equation that is g of h h of s equal to 0 and second point to find the number of closed loop poles in the right left imaginary axis so we have s plane is there take the s plane so this is the s generally this is the s plane this is the real real axis and this is the imaginary axis okay we have positive negative so whenever the poles on the left side LHS side then the system is the directly we can set the stable system when the poles on the right side of the S plane then the system you know that the unstable system when the poles are in the imaginary axis then the stability will known as the marginally stable it is the marginally stable so these are how many poles are available in left side and imaginary axis on the right side will be discussed by this rh criteria next third point to find the range of k values for stability and marginal stability so we can find the k values also k value also we can find for stability both as well as the marginal stability for these two condition we can use this we can use this phenomena right next to find the natural frequency of oscillations so what is the meaning of natural frequency we can name it as the omega n we can find out the omega n also by using this rh criteria last point to find the relative stability so it is useful for relative stability how much of stability is possible is will be discussed in this rh criteria okay this is the five important points regarding this rh criteria okay in the next next session onwards we will discuss the model of rh criteria how to solve how to test the stability of the given system by using the rh criteria will be discussed okay so so in this session we are discussing about what is stability different types of stability methods and what is rh criteria theory i hope all of you understand the session thank you